In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raised the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, our refuge in every danger, to whom we turn in our distress, in faith, we pray, look with compassion on the afflicted, grant eternal rest to the dead, comfort to mourners, healing to the sick, peace to the dying, strength to health care workers, wisdom to our leaders, and the courage to reach out to all in love, so that together we may give glory to your holy name. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side, denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped, then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble they will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them. For to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, Praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. <clears throat> In my distress, I called <clears throat> upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O oh Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praised be the Lord, I exclaim, for I am safe from my enemies. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. The breakers of death surged round about me. The destroying floods overwhelmed me. The cords of the netherworld enmeshed me. The snares of death overtook me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and cried out to my God. From his temple he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The Jews picked up rocks to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from my Father. For which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered him, We are not stoning you for a good work, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said, you are gods? If it calls them gods to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be set aside, Can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes because I said, I am the Son of God? If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works, so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Then they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true. And many there began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. First of all, it is good to be with all of you who are watching right now, who are engaged in this day of prayer and penance, prayer and fasting, really to be freed of this evil of the pandemic which has afflicted us, but also to draw us more deeply into the great mysteries of our Lord, which we are about to enter in this most holy week. We're given two characters today, Jeremiah and Jesus. And in many ways, I suppose we could say that Jesus is like another Jeremiah in some ways. Jeremiah suffered a great deal, a tremendous amount. He suffered, first of all, because he was asked to do something he really didn't want to do. God made him be a prophet, and he didn't want to be a prophet. He tried to find all kinds of excuses not to be a prophet. And not only that, Since God forced him to do it, you would think that God would have made it easy for him. But no, that's not what happened. For Jeremiah, being a prophet was a real difficulty. He was given words to speak that he knew no one would hear. No one would listen to him or heed him. No one would do what God wanted. And yet, he had to say these words. He was imprisoned a couple times. And so his life... His life as a prophet was a complete misery in many, many ways. And yet he is able to say in our reading today these words, The Lord is with me like a mighty champion. Man, that's faith. The Lord is with me like a mighty champion in the face of all of that. I don't know where it comes from. That's grace. Jesus, in a way, becomes akin to Jeremiah. Some believed in him, and as we heard in the gospel today, some didn't. He faced many enemies. I suppose there were also many who were simply lukewarm, who just didn't care, who were indifferent. But Jesus, too, came to do the will of the Father. And he knew, and we hear this constantly in the gospel of St. John, that God the Father was his champion, and he was with him. Like Jeremiah, Jesus knew he was not alone. Now, as we enter into this Holy Week, we see that we must also adhere to the fact that God is our champion. Now, that doesn't mean things are going to be easy. It doesn't mean that he's going to willy-nilly just get rid of all of our difficulties, including the difficulties our culture and our society are facing right now. But it does mean that he gives us the courage and the strength to continue to carry on, that we are able to walk with Christ, because Christ walks with us, and Christ is in us. He is in us, 
and with us like a mighty champion. God bless you all. For all ministers of the church, may the Lord bless them in their demonstration of Christ's love through good works. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all government leaders, may the Holy Spirit guide them in their work and encourage them in policies that recognize the dignity of human life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who struggle to meet their daily needs, may God strengthen them with a spirit of fortitude and perseverance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, may Christ enter our hearts more deeply as we prepare to enter Holy Week. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, may the Lord grant them eternal rest in the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. And now, wherever you are right now, let's take a moment and just offer out loud in your own homes the intentions that you bring to this altar today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear all these prayers which we offer in the name of Jesus, for he is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, to humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Upon the spirit and contrite heart may be accepted by you, Lord, may our sacrifice in your sight to stay be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the gifts we offer in this time of peril. May they become for us by your power a source of healing and peace. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation 
always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exultation we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, Carl, our Bishop Emeritus, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. 
You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Come to me, all who labor and are burdened, and I will refresh you, says the Lord. Let us pray. O God, from whose hand we have received the medicine of eternal life, grant that through this sacrament we may glory in the fullness of heavenly healing. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. O God, Protector of all who hope in you, bless your people, keep them safe, defend them, prepare them that free from sin and safe from the enemy, they may persevere always in your love. Through Christ our Lord, amen. amen. 
And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God.